Hi everyone! In this video tutorial, I'd like to take a look at the desulfonation of benzene sulfonic acid. So if we take a look at the general layout, what we have is benzene sulfonic acid right here. And if you take that compound and you heat it in dilute acid, what you're able to do is essentially eliminate that sulfonic acid group from your benzene ring. Now this is actually really useful in terms of synthesis, because what you can do then is you can add on a sulfonic acid group to your benzene ring that will specifically direct a new electrophile into a particular location, and then all you have to do is heat up that system in dilute acid and you're able to eliminate the sulfonic acid group from your ring and create the compound you want. In this video though, we're just going to take a look at the mechanism, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's take a look at this mechanism. So over here we have our benzene sulfonic acid, and remember that is in a dilute acid solution. So what can happen then is that these pi cloud electrons here are able to come and attack this hydrogen, kicking that water group off. You'll see that this is reversible because it's not a completely favorable step in that you are breaking aromaticity. So one way to reestablish aromaticity is for this bond right here that's bonding this carbon and that sulfur to break. When that breaks, those electrons are both going to fall here into this pi cloud, and then we're going to have kicked this group off. Now this group might look familiar because that's actually the electrophile that we need to form in order to engage in the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction where we sulfonate a benzene. Now we can have water or some other basin solution come and deprotonate this group such that we have our acid reform and then we form SO3. So this is pretty much how you're going to desulfonate a benzene sulfonic acid.